The government has con is concerned about a fraudulent move by the uh, Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs, which claimed responsibility for the field uh, Bidesega bridge rehabilitation in Nigeria, which never happened. Now, correspond our cyber correspondent, Ibn uh, Jaru Friday, reported that flood in 2022 eroded the bridge's approach, requiring remedial work awarded by Delta State Governor. However, another flood made the project inaccessible, causing further delays. Um, Niger Card came to site and by the 20th of December, they had completed the 50 meter span of the abutment. That's the new one you're seeing behind us. They had completed and opened it up for use during the Christmas break. The major reason why we're here today is that in the course of um, laying the asphalt, with, when they came back to site in January, we discovered that certain persons had attempted to take credit for these jobs. And then because Niger Cat had gone on break, and our engineers too had also gone on the Christmas break, these persons came with the slabs of the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs, put one downstream the bridge, put one upstream the bridge, and made it seem as if it was the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs that was responsible for this rehabilitation. Now, the State Commissioner of Works, Charles Inyagu, uh, aims to aid the federal government in combating corruption by preventing deception and ensuring the proper completion of a significant project. Like my colleague mentioned, we're also interested in helping the federal government to also fight corruption. Because those who came here and decide to place their signpost obviously had the intention of uh, deceiving the federal government through the Minister of Niger Data so that at the end of the day they can go back to Abuja or wherever and lay claim to whatever that has been expended on this project. Building a bridge is not a small thing. For you to have one span of about uh, close to 15 meters, it's not too narrow project. We are talking about what runs into billions. And so if anybody comes and plays signboard, you may think it's just a joke. If you don't correct that impression, the person may just get away with several billions without doing a, a single job, and it's not as if he's going to collect the money on our behalf and give it back to us. We welcome interventionist agencies to work, including uh, applying the routes, and even if you want to build your house, whatever now, almost every kind of vehicle now can apply this particular bridge because it has been done according to a relevant capacity to carry such uh, high tonnage vehicles. We undertook emergency repairs of the bridge at Bedesia was threatening to, in fact, uh, collapse the approved slabs and uh, completely deny all of us access to the bridge. Anybody who was here about uh, a year ago will understand what uh, the problem was because of the bridge by one span and uh, to undertake some remedial works in the area to protect the abutment and the embankments. That has been completed today, and anybody who sees what we have done here will see that um, we have expanded by a single span, and we also did uh, a prop cantilever span to the existing uh, span of the bridge. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.